following the rise of the Galactic Empire and the destruction of the Jedi Order, Yoda was forced into exile upon Dagobah, hiding from the wrath of the Sith and their Inquisitors. The most recent Age of Rebellion special comic, released last week, did an amazing job of showing just how sad and depressing Yoda's life on Dagobah was, with the Jedi Master having fallen so far through the efforts of Darth Sidious. And important for our video here, we also see the promise Yoda made to himself due to his own crushing guilt over having led the Order and its members towards annihilation. In this video expose, we'll look at Yoda's promise to never wield a lightsaber again after Order 66 and the events of Revenge of the Sith. Yoda's story in the Age of Rebellion special opens with Yoda sleeping in his home on Dagobah, with the issue framing the Jedi Master as the last Jedi. But Yoda's rest isn't a peaceful one. He's haunted by a recurring dream, one that refuses to let Yoda escape from the emotions of anger, hate, and suffering. Eventually, Yoda would awaken to undertake the work that typically consumed his life on Dagobah. Finding his food storage to be empty of anything of substance, Yoda set out on the arduous mission to hunt among the creatures of the planet, having to scale the rough terrain surrounding his home. As he always did, he was able to find what he was looking for, coming across a herd that he considered to be the best meat on the planet. The task of hunting one of the creatures would normally be a simple exercise for Yoda, igniting his lightsaber and using the force to take down his prey. But as the issue makes clear, at this point in Yoda's life, he chose not to carry a lightsaber. Yoda would never devalue the weapon of the Jedi by using it as part of his hunt for food. But there was also much more to Yoda's choice not to wield a lightsaber. Yoda had resolved himself to not only reject the use of a lightsaber in the pursuit of food, but to reject the use of his lightsaber at all times. In fact, Yoda vowed never to wield another lightsaber again. And Yoda had valid reasons for such a vow. He saw it as part of his penance, a way in which he could account for his failings as the Grandmaster of the Jedi Order. In a great scene from the issue, Yoda recognizes his own hubris and blindness in his days upon Coruscant, both qualities that led to his exile and the fall of the Jedi. This is a great reveal, as it's Yoda recognizing the aspects of the Jedi Order that Darth Plagueis and Darth Sidious would point to the most in Legends as the greatest weakness of the Jedi that would result in the revenge of the Sith. But Yoda wouldn't only vow to never again use his lightsaber due to his hubris and blindness, but also his own shame about the situation, knowing the galaxy was suffering under the rule of the Sith due to his failure. For these reasons, Yoda would never again use the weapon of a Jedi, instead choosing to hunt with a bow and arrow. It's a great story for Yoda, and shows just how sad and really pathetic his exile on Dagobah was. His failure in recognizing and preventing the actions of Sidious haunted Yoda on Dagobah, forcing him to try to achieve any type of penance he could. The issue would later reveal that the story takes place more than 20 years after Order 66. Therefore, given that Yoda's vow was said to have been made long ago, it could have very well been decades since Yoda last ignited his lightsaber and wielded the sacred weapon of a Jedi due to his own hubris, blindness, and shame. So there we have it, Yoda's vow to never again use a lightsaber after the events of Episode 3. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For accurate predictions.